chapter in a lot of guys' lives are uh, you know, passing by. But uh, you know, we're going to enjoy this last week of practice and uh, hopefully get a win out there. How do you not let the emotion get to you? Because it is. It's one of those kind of downer moments. Your mom's out on the field, you know, just crying, happy, crying. How do you work past it quickly? Because you got to turn it around in about five minutes. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I think I'm pretty uh, – even keel type guy. I don't think I'll be getting too emotional, but uh, you know we know what's what's important. That's getting the win and uh, everything with the families and you know, being a sad moment. Uh, it'd be even sadder if we we lost. So uh, yeah, I think all of us have the right mindset to go out there and get a win. When's the last time you delivered roses to your mother? I guess high school senior day. It's been a while. I'm a terrible son. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about when you think back on your career at LSU? Um, what stands out? Oh, man. You know, so many games and, and whatnot, but uh, you know, I think the things that really stand out is just the relationships you build with people. Uh, like us? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, just like going out to practice and, uh, you know, locker room talk. You spend so much time with all these guys that um, you know, it's, it'd be, it's going to be tough to, to not be around them every day. Well, given the circumstances that, that put you here, did, did you have some doubts when you arrived? Did you think, um, I hope this works out? Or did you feel pretty confident that it would and has it? Uh, I, I think it's worked out pretty well. Um, I don't think I had any doubts coming in. Things worked out just fine. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we can finish off with two more wins. That'd be, that'd be the best. You've always kind of downplayed, I guess, your achievements on the you know, each game and talked about what you could have done, not what you really did. So now that you got one left, I guess, is there anything that you still need to cross off that you know that you'd like to do in a game or anything? Are you, are you pretty satisfied with this year? I know you hated last year. I hate it. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this year's been a pretty successful year, you know, not only for you know, myself and other individuals, but uh, you know, offensively we've done a lot of good things. You know, we lead the country and our conference in a lot of different you know, categories. Uh, it's just unfortunate that we had to lose you know, three games, but you know, if we can just go out there and, and win these last two, uh, you know, really that's all that matters for me. Is it still a playing for pride kind of mentality, or is it? How do you motivate? How does the team motivate itself in these last two? Last one, especially against Arkansas, a team that hadn't won a game. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think guys are motivated just to win for seniors. Um, we talked about that today as we held a lot of the uh, you know, Told everybody if you don't if you don't play for you know, the guy next to you, play for play for the seniors. Uh, it's in the the way we want to go. That, that alone will motivate guys to, to play the best. Have you had a chance to talk to Mary since his knee injury? I know you guys got back to the door today and stuff. No. Why do you use the word depressing? Why? <laughs> yeah. I oh, know I'll never get to play college ball again. That sign kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, it's five years I'll never get back. The word depressing is only fitting for, for that situation, I guess. Is it ironic?